Hi everybody, I'm Lou Sims from Lou Sims Paper Crafter. I'm here today to oh, review, play, have a look at oh, so many things um, with this wonderful selection of goodies I've been sent by scrapbook.com. So I've been sent um, a really good stamping bundle. So I've got a selection of 3D foam pads. I've got two sizes in the circle. So I've got a larger circle and a smaller circle. And I've got a larger square and a smaller square. So they'll be used in a project soon. I've been sent three of their hybrid ink pads. So I've got leather, which is Leatherwood 3, Orange Cream and Autumn Leaves. I've also been sent a beautiful embossing ink pad and a reinker. It's lovely to see an embossing pad, isn't it, like that when it's nice and clean and hasn't been used. A large stamping block. A set of um, sentiment stamps called Full Stamp. Oh, sorry, Full Sampler. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different sentiments on there and it's a lovely clear stamp set and then finally I've been sent the new domed applicator so I've been sent the applicators plus some um, extras to actually have a play with so I'm going to clear things away and I'm going to start playing bit by bit by bit right I'm going to start with the stamping block now the stamping block is huge it's all oh, approximately 15 centimetres um, long, maybe a little bit longer, and just under 9 centimetres wide. It's got a grid on one side, and you can actually feel the grid, and it's plain on this side, which I think is, is brilliant, because at least I now know that I can put my stamps on the clear side, and then I don't make the gridded side messy. So when I want to line up sentiments and everything, this will stay clean. I'm quite messy with my stamping blocks. It's really lovely and ergonomic. You can put your fingers around it. So you've got a good grip when you stamp. Um, the other thing I like about blocks like this is if you were using lots of accessory stamps, you can then put a whole load over the back of your um, block, ink it all up and stamp in one go, rather than lots of little blocks around. The only downside for me is its weight it is quite heavy however with the way you can hold it I think actually with practice and using it lots and lots and lots the weight will not become as much as an issue so I do like it the chunkiness so that is the actual stamping block I've been sent so I'm gonna put that to one side so you get two applicators each with a domed on and then you get three separate so let's just open my pack and tip it all out. Whoops. non escapee And you also get um, a, a replacement. So you can get replacement ones as well. So which means then you can have a um, foam pad, a dome for each of your colour families. So I'll put that to one side at the moment. There, I've got a hook and loop on the side so you can just put them all on I'm going to say they actually feel really quite substantial um, in comparison to some of the other pads that are out there this part here doesn't feel like it's going to give way um, I'm just going to grab an old one of mine so like this is an old one of mine other than it's falling apart you can see where the hook and loop is it's starting to change shape and it's starting to get a little bit bent these domed ones don't have that feel at all. This actually feels, solid's not the right description, but it feels firm. It feels like it's not going to distort in any way, shape or form. So obviously they sit inside the handles. If you've got other handles, like this is the Tim Holtz one, they sit perfectly on there and will work exactly the same. And also the Nouveau. I've got the Nouveau one and it sits there on there perfectly. And you can blend with those. So it depends on which handle you would like to use or if you have other handles. So they sit there beautifully. Yeah, and it has got a great feel.
feel to it. So what I thought I'd do is I'd actually have a play with them and create some bits using the inks, the blenders and the embossing ink um, and come back to you and, and give you a true feedback on absolutely everything. Right, I'm back. I've had everything out and I've had a really, really, really good play. Um, I've used the blenders, I've used the ink pads, the embossing pad, and I've used them in lots of different ways. Well, I've used them actually as I would use them if I was crafting or making something. So let's have a quick go through um, all the different things. Big stamping block, as I said previously, was great. I managed to put loads of different images on it and create my background with it. Um, it was quick, it was easy, because it's ergonomical, I can put it down that way and I can make sure that I've actually got hold of the block. Um, my only thing, as I did say, downside was it is a little bit heavy, but that doesn't take away from the fact that it is a good, good block. Thoroughly recommend it. Oh, I think it'd also make a brilliant place to mix your watercolours on as well. But that's for another day. Now, the ink pads. When I got sent the colours, I, I realised that they were all, um, you know, very linked together. And I was a little bit, mm, what can I do with them? I have to say, you know, it was brilliant. And I've created some different projects using the inks in different ways. So let me just grab my projects, she says, wherever she's put them. Oh, right beside her. So the first card I did... I've actually used the block and I've created the background, as I said, because I can use all the images in one go. And I've used the clear embossing ink. The embossing ink went beautifully. I haven't used embossing powders. I've let it dry and then I've gone over it. Um, I've used the domed blenders and I've then just created a soft, subtle background. I then stamped all my little images. These are from um, a couple of LDRS sets. I've stamped my little images in the different coloured inks and, and coloured them with the inks and the blending domes. And I actually think they look quite effective. The die cut here is um, a tonic one and it's a Christmas wreath. But because it's twiggy, I thought it went beautifully with the, with the theme. And it's actually been coloured, not cut from brown card, but coloured with the ink pad. And the ink has taken it beautifully. And using the blending domer, rather than actually oversaturating it, I actually dabbed it. And it's given a really soft, dabbled sort of um, effect um, on the die cut. The sentiment is from the full set, Bountiful Blessings. Use the embossing, um, clear ink, onto vellum. And then I've embossed it with um, gold, Nouveau Gold Detail Powder. And I'm really pleased with how that's come out altogether. The blending is seamless between the three colours. Um, the bigger bits you see are um, me going straight away onto the card and resting. It's nothing to do with the, um, the foam at all, um, user error. But actually, I quite like the look. So that was one of the cards... I made and that was blending with the tools as were. Well. Now I've used different handles. I've used the scrapbook.com, I've used the Nuvo and I've used a generic handle and I've put all the different um, sponges on top, the dome sponges on top. So that way they were being played with, with lots of different ways. So that was card one. Card two, I've just used the inks as is and layered them up to, to make a collage. This is a Tonic Studios journaling set and I thought it'd be nice to use it in a different way. I've gone through a stencil, but lightly. I only wanted a light background and I've added a few splodges here and there. But the stamps images with the inks are still crisp. You can still see them. And I've coloured the inside by actually just taking the dauber and just dabbing straight away. And it's left a really, really cool, cute little mottled effect. I don't know whether you can see that clearly. And I actually like that look. It's Well, it was a quick way to create a card because all I did was stamp the images and I've actually just coloured them by using the daubers that way. Um, fantastic. The sentiment is from the full set and I've used 
the three inks together. So I started with the lightest, which was orange cream. Then I went to autumn leave and then I've overstamped with the leather. And I like you probably if you see the card, um, you know, in person, you can see the slight gradation in colour. And it's come out beautifully. And I've, all I've done then is just cut the sentiment out with a set of nesting circle dies. But I do love the effect. And even though they are what you could traditionally think, you call them fall colours or autumn colours, um, it still looks like this is not an autumn card. The colours zing and pop together. Now, my final card, I thought, right, I'm going to have a real play with this properly. And I've used a stencil that... Um, is a multi-layered stencil. So what I mean by that is it's a stencil, I'm trying to grab it, let's see if I can put it on the black here, that comes with lots of different images on that you move around, you layer on top and so on and so forth. So I thought that would be brilliant to, to have a go doing it that way. And I've used my blending sponges and I've got the lightest colour, as you can see, the next colour down, which was the autumn leaves, and finally the leather. And they've all blended beautifully together. I've still got the striking background. I've even managed to get like a really light halo effect by hardly putting any pressure at all when blending. Around the edge, I've used um, the embossing ink pad and I've just put some detailed black embossing powder. And I love the effect that that's actually came. And really really impressed with the blending sponges getting into all the small detail if i bring the stencil back you'll see what i mean i deliberately chose one that's got lots of fine intricate small detail even down to the dots um the parts on the tree because i knew the blending domes could work brilliantly you know with larger areas but i just wanted to see were they just as effective using smaller detailed parts on on stencils and for me personally, I think the images are still crisp. They went into all the fine parts. I mean, especially on the tree. It's gone into all the fine little parts. It's brought out the top. So that was a huge um, 10 out of 10 for me. Also, I didn't have to. You know, sometimes when you have to take a blending thing and you have to really scrub it in to get right to the corners. Didn't have to. Just gently worked over. And the colours built up beautifully. I'm really impressed. That that one, I think, really impressed me because I actually thought it would be the one, if it was going to be tricky, it would be this card. And I'm going to be honest and say, with the stencil, I haven't put any form of um, temporary adhesive on the back. I just use basic tape and just stuck it into places. Um, so I have made the, the domed um, work really, really hard, you know, for themselves sort of thing. So let's just put that to one side. So I was really, really impressed with that card. Really, really impressed. The only thing that's made me sad is from doing that card, my lovely new embossing clear pad, which was so clean. It's now got grubby black bits on, but hey, it shows it's been used. So the three colours working together. So I've got orange cream, autumn leaves and leather. I have been really impressed with the different techniques, the different colours I've managed to get um, with each of the cards and still as crisp still beautiful and still you know gave me the results i was looking for for um, all of the cards so loving the ink pads loving loving that they come in a color families the other thing i'm going to quickly say about the ink pads let's just put them to one side is the other thing that i like is the lids when you put it on you can hear it click when it closes, which for me is like the reassuring that, um, you know, that the lid is on and the ink will stay wet and dry. I've had ink pads before where I've had to put elastic bands around them because the lid um, is loose. So let's just put them to one side. Now, the blending foams. Loved using these. They do work. I'm going to show you one that, as you can see, it's all pitted. And I don't know whether you can see lots of the foam has come away. That is not the the foam's fault that was user error total and utter user error i'm so used to with this type of brush of or brush sorry blender going in this way and i put so and i'm so used to not scrubbing per se but yeah form of that i actually bless it i abused it 
which is really, really sad. When I then did it with this one and I actually put the ink on and I just worked it gently, got into all the corners and I realised I don't need to put the same level of pressure um, on the the domed pads, foam pads. Um, and that, and then when I came to using it again, I didn't. So the brown one, that I, the new brown one I've got, it just looks just like that, perfect. So this one was total user error. Um, and it's, I suppose, bad habits that I had got into with my blending tools. And if one thing that the domed um, foam pads have taught me is that I don't need, you know, I need, I need to get rid of those bad habits now. I don't need them. I'm wrecking my own tools by having those those bad habits. And I just need to let the, the sponge do its magic and I can craft as I want. Well, I hope that makes sense. I know it's a bit waffly, but I wanted to show, you know, my user error on there. And I'm hoping the camera does pick it up, that it's taken a little bit. But that, as I said, that was total and utter user error. So overall, what did I say about my goodie package? Oh, thoroughly enjoy playing. Thoroughly. Would I recommend? Yes, without a shadow of a doubt. Going off now to look at the other colour families because it made crafting easy. Initially, I thought, oh, gosh, it's going to make it hard, but it didn't. It made crafting so much easier because I had them there in the colour families um, and I didn't have to overthink what was going with what. I knew all would work beautifully together. OK, right. Quickly before I go, because I did get sent them, I got sent the foam pads and I've used the foam pads, especially on this card and this card. And I'm in love with the circles. I'm but traditionally a square um, pad person, not a circle person. And I'm in love with these. They pop out easily. But what I'm looking forward to is when the sheet is full. You've got, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up and try and show you've got little circle indents just there. I'm going to grab my Nuvo drops and I'm going to start filling up these so I then have embellishments ready to go. Or I can just still do them inside there on the carrier sheet. And that would give me little perfect Nuvo drops that um, I can use as gems straight away. They'll already be dry and I can then just add them to my project. I'm a devil for not waiting, you know, and then you put your finger in the drops. Um, so I'm definitely going to give that a go. So for me, loving the circles, absolutely loving the circles. As I said before, squares, I, I am more traditional. I cut my sheets up only because of my storage area, not for any other reason. Came off the pad beautifully and, and do as they, you know, work. Backing comes away lovely. And they are, they're perfect. But I am getting into being a convent with the circles. They just seem to work and help create you know, the domed effect. Can you see I'm a little bit excited about 3D foam pads? Anyways, I hope that was okay. I hope you got a, an idea of lots of the different things I've done with them. There is so much more you can do with the, uh, the domed. I want to try them. The next thing I want to try them with is with my water paints because I use watercolours through stencils as well i'm gonna get a set and have a go and have a play to see how they work with my uh, watercolors and my acrylic paints um and see how they help with crafting so watch this space and i'll probably come back with um, another video showing you exactly what i did with those but in the meanwhile yeah these are brilliant a definite must-have definite must have i'm off now to look for the storage that they go into and buy another set because i think one for each of the color families is it, definitely going to be the way forward any questions or anything like that just leave a comment below and i'll post the pictures and um, post the pictures post my projects up on my blog and i'll link that below so you can get a little bit more of a closer look um at the background and at the blending thank you ever so much for watching if you can and you like what I've done, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. And also, if you feel brave, the notifications buttons too. Thank you very much. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.